Out of all the Linux distributions I have covered, and believe me, I have covered a lot, there's been one that's always held a place in my heart, simply because it is arch and it is beautiful, and that would be Zero Linux. Zero Linux came out a little over a year ago, I do believe, and it had a KDE version, a GNOME version, and it may have had a different version, but I'm not quite sure. But they have concentrated everything now to the single KDE version. And when I say it's beautiful, it is beautiful. But before we get started with today's video, I want to make an announcement. I have hit 10,000 subscribers. I want to thank each and every one of you that is watching this video right now because you have helped this channel reach 10,000. It's really an honor. I never would have looked back a year ago. Well, actually 10 months ago when I had a whopping 396 subscribers that I would ever imagine that within a year or short of a year, I would be at 10,000. So thank you all very much. And I've got something I want to bring up at the end of this video. It's kind of, uh, well, I can't let the cat out of the bag because if I do, YouTube would get mad at me. So hang on until the end of the video and I'll tell you where you can go to get more information about it. Back to Zero Linux. Great KDE Arch-based distro and it is an eye candy lover's beautiful dream. That's what we're going to cover today on eBuzz Central. Today's video is brought to you by the eBuzz Central store. Do you love using Linux? Do you like showing your pride in using Linux? Well, the eBuzz Central store is where you can go to do that. We have everything from Arch-based apparel all the way over to Ubuntu apparel. So if you get a chance, zip on over, check it out. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, tank tops. We've got a little bit of everything. So go on over, check the eBuzz Central store out. That helps this channel out immensely. So now back to the video. We are presently at Zero Linux's website, which is zerolinux.xyz. And I will be sure to include that in the description below. And if you come over to the left, it says Zero Linux. It's a hobbyist arch based distro. Built using Arco Linux ALCI build scripts, it uses the awesome and highly customizable desktop environment known as KDE Plasma. It brings a good balance between stability and performance, and it looks pretty damn good as well. And if you come over here, they've got a little screenshot, and I've actually been in contact with Dark Zero. He did an interview here not too long back over with DT, and we're gonna try to get one set up for my channel. We were in constant communication on Facebook Messenger, and then Facebook decided it was going to send me to Facebook jail for posting about open source and how all social media should do that. So I've kind of fell out of contact with him, but I'm going to get back out on Telegram, get in contact with him or get on Discord, and we'll see if we can get this set up. So that'll be upcoming. In a couple weeks, I'm going to sit down and we're going to talk to Dark Zero, and we're going to focus more on the distribution itself as opposed to just what he thinks about the Linux community in general. And also, if you scroll down, there's a Zero Linux install guide right here. Very informative, makes things real easy to use. It lets you know here that it's improved. It runs faster and better with many fixes and efforts under the hood that will save you time. It's stunning with built-in support for AUR. And then it's got credits right here. Eric Du Bois, and then Gamer King, Roy Markham, Ripley Plays, Allen 1000. And then you come down here and you can actually download some Rices and Themes after you've got it installed, you can get the Zero Cherry theme or Rice. It's right here. Then you got Zero Land, Zero Nord, Zero Sweet, and then Zero Dracul. I've kind of leaned towards the look of this one, but that's my favorite. And that's the beauty of Linux. You can download it and pretty much make it look any way you want to. But Zero Linux has taken a lot of those hours of tweaking out of the way. And then you got a beautiful distribution to use right out of the box. And then if you do come down a little bit further, you've got custom grub themes. And if you come over here, it's got an installation guide, of course. And then you've got Draft Punk, Tron, Star Wars, Zero Nord, Zero Comp. So you've got some choices there, too. I love this. You've got options to customize right out of the box. And it's simple and easy to do. And then down here, Zero Linux official videos how to use Ventoy on SSD, how to install a Zero Linux Rice on an Arch distribution, and migrating from one file system to another. And then there's some previews down here. You've got the DT interview that he did, and then you've got, uh, I believe that's the Linux cast. He did a video on it. 
and then zero Linux official, and then frequently asked questions down here. So it's got a very comprehensive website should you have any questions. You've got forums, free, frequently asked questions, videos, customizations, credit features, and home. Now I do want to point out, as does zero Linux, that if you have some major issues, something that you really need to tweak on to fix, I doubt you will, but if you do, you need to rely on the Arch Wiki. This is based on Arch. It's coming from the ALCI. So your best support there is if you do have issues with anything, to lean on the Arch Wiki to fix it. So now what we're going to do, and you know what? I would be remiss if I didn't announce this because Dark Zero wants it made apparent. He is very proud that this distribution is proudly made in Lebanon, and it's the only distribution that's coming out of Lebanon. So we can put our hands together for that. He's very proud of that, and he takes pride in that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to zip on over to Zero Linux's desktop. And if you download Zero Linux, throw it on a USB, or open it up in a virtual machine, here is the screen you're met with. You've got the latte dock down on the bottom, and then you've got a panel up top, and it doesn't go all the way across. You've got a little spacing here on it, and you get a beautiful background. And as you can see, they have an anniversary edition wallpaper, because I do believe this does mark one year since it came out with the first edition, and it is a beautiful wallpaper. But one thing you can count on, and most people tell me this doesn't matter, but it does to me, because not only do I like my operating system functional, I like my operating system to look good. So the first thing I want to show you is that Zero Linux comes with a lot of different wallpapers that are just gorgeous. Now, as you can see right here, you've got Zero Linux, you've got Zero Plasma, but any of these that you pick are just stunning. Look at that. It's beautiful. And you can scroll up if you're somebody that wants to lean something a little darker. We got that. That is beautiful as well. And then you can scroll up. Then you've got kind of a winter look right there let's go ahead and move that over see how beautiful these are they have taken time and they found some beautiful wallpapers to put on top of a beautiful operating system it is quite gorgeous actually so i'm going to switch to that one and i do believe i'm going to leave that one up for now unless i find one that's even better looking so look at that you get a plethora of wallpapers right out of the box and they're not just base kde wallpapers they're custom they're zero Linux inspired wallpapers. So please, if you do download this, take it for a test drive, check those wallpapers out. They definitely are beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to that one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. As I said, we do have the latte dock down on the bottom. Now you do get a zero Linux welcome screen, which is one of the things I love about Linux and the distributions that come with it. Right off the bat, it tells you welcome to zero Linux. This will help you get started. And it lets you know, keep in mind that this app will be replaced after installed with a post-install version. Now right here, you can start the Zero Linux installer. You can update your Arch mirror list. Now, this is what I do want to recommend. If you install Zero Linux or any Arch distribution for that matter of fact, what you want to do, the first thing after you install it is come over here and update your Arch mirror list whether you do that through here or whether you do it through PayMac, which I will show you how to do that here in a moment. And then also you have VMware tools. It's a resolution fix that if you're trying to run this into VMware and then launch your partition manager if you want to manually partition your disks before an install. All of that is right there on the welcome screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click exit and we're gonna come down to the bottom down here. You got your present windows button. That lets you open up all windows that are presently open but not being seen. And then you do have File Manager, which is Dolphin. Now, what I do like about this theme is you do get transparency and blur in the theme. If you can see, you got a little bit of transparency and a little bit of blur there. I like that look. It's clean, and it just makes it feel, I don't know, polished, for lack of a better word. You get a lot of distributions that look Windows XP-ish. I like this one because it doesn't look like anything you've seen before. Now, of course, you're going to have your people talk about Garuda and this and that and the other. But one thing I do like about Zero Linux is he tries to go in a direction that is different from everybody else. And I really like that. Now, this is Dolphin File Manager. If you've seen any of my KDE videos in the past, you know what I think about Dolphin. You got your usual suspects over here. You got your home folders right here. It's easy to change things on Dolphin. You can come down here and you can zoom up, zoom down. 
and that's one of the things that really annoyed me on Windows is you had to go up here and click, pick a small, medium, or large icon right here. I can just zoom or zoom out. Anything I want to do, I can do with this little bar right here. And then over here, if I want to hide something, I just right click on it and go ahead and click hide. And it gives me more room here. Okay. Now, if you wanted to make these a little bigger, you could come down here, right click, go to icon size and go to maybe a large and then you get some color there as well and you get a little bit larger icons that's truly up to you dolphin file manager it's light very functional stays out of your way and lets you get your job done so i'm going to go ahead and close out of that of course it comes with firefox you've got Cavanta manager right here and then you do have console i want to go ahead and open up console and what i want to see right here is if they have htop and the first thing i want to look at right here is you got zero linux kde Linux kernel 5.17.9 Arch-1, so that's the up-to-date kernel. Now, you do have Plasma 5.24.5. I know that Plasma 5.25 is coming out mid-June, so I'm pretty sure once they get everything straightened out with that, this will update to that KDE version. So that's just more beauty and more things you'll be able to do with the Zero Linux desktop. Then you've got the LAN theme, the LAN dark icon theme, and it lets you know it's been up for 19 minutes. So I'm going to run HTOP real quick. We'll pull that up. And right now I have about 4 gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine with just the terminal open, Latte Dock running, and my little CPU monitor up here. I'm using about a gig of RAM. Now I will say this. If you do install this, it's going to use less RAM because in virtual machine, you're obviously using a little bit more RAM just to run the operating system. So that's probably going to drop down to about seven or 800. And some people will say it's a little heavy. It's not bloated. It's a little heavy because it is beautiful. Are you willing to give up a little bit? I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM on the machine that I'm using this on. I've issued this virtual machine four gigabytes of RAM and it's running smooth. It's running snappy. So just take that into account if you want to download it and take a look at it. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Then we can come over here. You've got settings. Let's go ahead and open up system settings. Now you've got a lot of different settings here. Okay. I could sit here and go through every single one of these settings with you, but I have done a video in the past that kind of shows you what all these settings do. So what I'll do is I'll put it on the suggested videos at the end of this video. And that way, if you want more information about KDE or how to set it up or what all these settings do, you can take a look at that. But you can change your appearance right here. You can adjust your global theme. You've got lay and light. It's presently on lay and dark. But really, out of the box, this is a very beautiful system. But you do still have the ability to customize it if you would like. I'm going to go ahead and back up. You've got KDE wallet, input devices, removable printers, and then, of course, about your system, which we just saw in HTOP, 5.17.9 Arch Kernel. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. And then you come back down, you've got disks, and then you've got your Grub customizer here. You would just click on that, and then you could do whatever you needed to do here. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that, and we're going to come up top. If you come up top on the panel, you've got your show your hidden icons right here. You drop that down. You've got your notifications. Then you do have a drop down terminal that if you click it, it drops down and you can do whatever you need to do right there. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Come back over. You've got clipboard, night color control. You can adjust this or set this. And as the day goes on or it gets closer to the evening, what it will do is automatically adjust the background colors and lower the dimness and give a little bit more warmth to the colors that are on your system. That way it's easier on your eyes. Then you've got vaults, printers, lock key status, and of course, KDE Connect. If you're not familiar with KDE Connect, you can zip on over to either the Google Play Store or the Apple iTunes Store, download it onto your smartphone, connect it with your computer, and you have a whole new way to control your PC from your phone and a whole new way to interact with your phone from your PC. So we will go ahead and close out of that. You've got internet, present USB, battery power, volume, and of course, your updates. Now, if you right click on the panel, you can set it as a flexible size. You can also enter edit mode. You can make changes here and then more options. You can come over here, remove panel, maximize opacity, visibility, panel alignment. Now, I'm very interested in seeing, especially when KDE 5.25 comes out, how it interacts with the floating panel. Because this, I believe, would look really beautiful when you have the floating panel where you have the space here and then there would be a space between the top 
in the bar itself. So that'll be interesting to see in the upcoming KDE release. Then you've got calendar right here. You've got days, months, years. You can adjust that. You can right click on it. You can adjust your date and time, set your time format. So that gives you a lot of different things you can do right there. Then you've got a little widget right here showing your total CPU usage. At present, I've only got two CPUs issued to this machine, but it hovers around 10 to 15. And like right now, it's down around four. So it's not using a lot of the CPU. Then we've got the Zero Linux app menu. Let's go ahead and drop that down. And then it just got some of the apps that come with it. Development apps, your graphics, and then of course, internet, multimedia, office, and then you've got your settings add and remove software let's go ahead and go over that real quick i'm going to go ahead and maximize this so we can see it now the first thing you want to do is if you have installed zero linux and you want to come over and add and remove software the first thing you want to do is go to this little dot menu right here click on that go down to preferences and when it opens up preferences go to third party right here you want to enable aur support what this does is it gives you access to software and applications that are not available in the regular repositories. Now, if that's something you want, make sure you enable that. And now if you're a fan of flat packs, you could also enable them at the same time as well. That is truly up to you. Now, if you do do that, you want to check for updates on your flat packs and you want to check for updates on your AUR. That way, if a newer version of the package comes out, it can update and you'll be using the most up to date version of that application on your system. And then you want to go back over to general and then right here you can check for updates is on cache a and you're good to go then you can close out of this then this is where i'd recommend go over to your zero linux welcome screen and update your mirrors at that point it'll find the mirrors that are closest to you and then when you download applications and software you'll be downloading them from the quickest and closest links as possible so that's paymac let's go ahead and close out of that let's go back up to here back down to settings advanced network configuration yad settings system there's your add and remove software we just looked at cases install system info center grub customizer system genie then you got some utilities help and then power on and off it does not come with an office suite out of the box so you would have to download that and then if you wanted to use something like gimp caden live obs things like that you'd be able to download those. And OBS Studio, I do believe, comes from the AUR, so that's why it is important to install the AUR. But that is a quick look at Zero Linux. The newest release came out yesterday. It is beautiful, and I truly believe it's just one of those distributions that keeps getting better with every single release. If you're a fan of KDE, if you're a fan of Arch, and if you're a fan of customization, this is definitely the distribution for you. Tell me what you think. Is this something you might download? Don't want a USB? Put in a virtual machine and take for a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Now, pointing back to the first of the video when I said there was an announcement I wanted to make. I want to direct all of you to zip on over to my Patreon page. There will be a video. It's basically a welcome video to new people that could be patrons or people that just find my patron channel out of the blue. I've got a special announcement on there. You don't have to be a patron to listen to the announcement. But if you would just listen to that, that's my way of showing my gratitude to my community, to my patrons, to everybody out there that has supported eBuzz Central. So please zip on over, take a look at that video, and I do appreciate everything you all have done for this channel. Also, do me a quick favor today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, throwing us a donation over on PayPal, or zipping on over to Patreon and becoming a patron to the channel. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.